Let us look at another example of partnerships. Anju, Manju and Sanju started a business with an investment of rupees 5000, rupees 4000 and rupees 2000 respectively. Now Anju took back her amount after 4 months and Manju took back her amount after 6 months. If at the end of the year there was a total profit of Rs. 5100, what will be the share of each of them in the profit? So let's say this is the business entity here. Now Anju, Manju and Sanju invested money in this business. So Anju, Manju and Sanju invested money in this business. Anju invested rupees 5000. So rupees 5000 were invested by Anju. Manju invested rupees 4000. And Sanju invested rupees 2000. Now Anju decided to take back her amount after 4 months. So Anju invested this amount of money only for 4 months. And Manju took back her amount after 6 months. So Manju invested this money only for 6 months. And since Sanju did not take back his amount, so Sanju invested this money for 12 months. Now if at the end of the year there was a total profit of Rs 5100, so at the end of one year there was some amount of profit and the profit was Rs 5100. What will be the share of each of them in the profit? So we have to find out, out of this rupees 5100, how much should be given to Anju, how much should be given to Manju and how much to Sanju. So while Anju, Manju and Sanju were discussing who should get how much amount from this profit, Manju said that since we all are partners in this business, Let's split this amount into three parts and let the parts be equal. Anju then jumped in and said, but I have invested more money than you have invested. So why should I get the same amount that you are getting in profit? I should get more. Then Sanju jumped in and said, Yeah, but both of you took out your money in 4 months and 6 months respectively. But I kept the money for 12 months. So you took out your money and are probably getting profit by investing this money somewhere else. But I invested the money for the entire 12 months. So then all the three understood the problem and said that they all agreed that the profit should be distributed considering the amount of money invested by each investor and the duration for which they were invested in the business. So then they said, okay, let's find out the proportion of the contribution by each of the investors. Now the contribution is the multiplication of the amount that each one invested and the duration for which they were invested in this business. So for Anju, she invested 5000 rupees for 4 months. So her contribution 5000 multiplied by 4 is 20,000. Manju invested 
फोर थाउजेंड रुपीज फॉर सिक्स मंथ्स सो हर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इज सिक्स फोर जो ट्वेंटी फोर एंड थ्री जीरो ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड एंड संजू इन्वेस्टेड टू थाउजेंड रुपीज फॉर ट्वेल्व मंथ्स सो हिस्स कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इज ट्वेल्व टू जो ट्वेंटी फोर सो ट्वेंटी फोर थाउजेंड then let's take the ratio of these three contributions and split the profit in the same ratio so let's take the ratio so this is 20000 24000 is to 24000 this is the ratio of anju manju and sanju now let's take out the common multiples so three zeros get cancelled now four fives are 20 four six are 24 and four six are 24 so the ratio is five is to six is to six now what this means is if the profit is split into 5 plus 6 is 11 and 11 plus 6 is 17 17 equal parts then anju should be getting 5 parts out of those 17 parts manju should be getting 6 parts out of those 17 parts and sanju should be getting 6 parts out of those 17 parts so 5100 divided by 17 multiplied by anju's contribution which is 5 this will be the total profit that anju should be getting so 17 threes are 51 5 threes are 15 and two zeros so 1500 rupees is anju's profit for manju 5100 divided by 17 multiplied by 6 so again 17 300 times is 5100 so 63 are 18 100 rupees and since sanju share is the same as manju share sanju will also be getting 1800 rupees so basically what this means is that even though anju contributed the maximum amount of money but because the duration for which she invested was the lowest overall she got the lowest profit amongst the three and even though sanju invested less money as compared to the other two but because he was invested for a longer time he got his share which was equal to that of manju